Hi guys, how are you here? Welcome back to my F1 2021 Williams Road to Glory series here today for the British Grand Prix but we're going to kick off with a crash in qualifying because Valtteri Bottas just completely wiped us out on our qualifying lap but I don't know what he's doing now it's a bit nostalgic to back to my F1 2019 career mode but we're here at Silverstone let's get into the race Grand Prix With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position today and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Norris, Charles Leclerc and Gasly, Perez, Verstappen, Vettel and Lance Stroll, Sainz, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon and Mick Schumacher, Joe, Giovinazzi, Kimi Raikkonen and George Russell, Mazepin and Brown. And now it's time to head down to the track. So great qualifying for Daniel Ricciardo. We've got a fresh engine in at the back. It's time for the British Grand Prix. It's lights out. And away we go. It's a great start there by one of the Mercedes. But Ricciardo still leads as we go um, down the inside. We've already got a couple of cars and we are going to absolutely send it into village and now can we keep it pinned round the outside of the loop of Esteban Ocon have we got it have we got it yes we have we've made an unbelievable start there and now there's the um, Ferrari of Carlos Sainz and Yuki Tsunoda and we thought about sending it down the inside but now Esteban Ocon is going to try and get round back round my outside we force him off the track. And now, skipping on. There goes Esteban Ocon coming under pressure by Mick Schumacher. And I think the side by side, well, why do you have to show this awful camera angle now? But he's left the space there on the in, on the outside. Mick Schumacher is going to carry on trying. Can he get past the Alpine? Yes, he can. And he gets the job done and there so is the Alfa Romeo of Antonio Giovinazzi he's having a pop as well but he has to stay behind for now as we go on to lap 2 as there's the Alfa Tauri of Yuki Tsunoda and his engine's gone pop down on the hangar straight he pulls off just um, at Stowe Corner and now Mick Schumacher's having a go at us. It's all kicking off there at Silverstone. As we force him wide, but he tried to do the up and under. And now he's got a great launch off the loop. And he's going to try and go up our inside, down the Wellington Strait, down the inside into Brooklyn. We keep it pinned round the outside. But we've gone wide and off the track. But we can brown the outside goes Mick Schumacher at Luffield. We force him wide. And now Esteban Ocon through Woodcut and towards Cobb's corner. Is he going to do a Hamilton and Verstappen? But this time Ocon doesn't hit the guy on the outside. As now we've got a bad exit. Mick Schumacher's trying to get past us as well. Well, he's still side by side. Esteban Ocon. Now to back off, Ming Schumacher has stayed ahead, and now Ocon defending um, Giovinazzi. Kimi Raikkonen is licking his lips, just waiting for the opportunity to present itself. And they've done it. Ocon has keep, kept the position. Guan Yu Zhou, as well, is in the mix as well, as he's coming under pressure from the yes, and um, the. Alfa Romeo as well. It's all kicking up here at Silverstone now. 
as their guy is George Russell, can he have a go at the heart of the um, Alfa Romeo, sorry, of Kimi Raikkonen? As we're just holding up this massive pack, here is Esteban Ocon still trying to get past us through the loop and into entry and onto the Wellington straight we go now. I'm not quick round Silverstone, it's the one track I want to be quicker. But we go into Brooklyn's and there goes Ocon. Ocon trying to go round her outside, we force him right off the track. But he still keeps his line. And we're forcing wide, that's a little bit dirty there. There goes Ocon, out breaks us. Round the outside and there wasn't a gap there. There wasn't a gap there. He wasn't really alongside me. I think that's fair enough, I think. I shouldn't have given the position, but he's got some front wing damage as he is really struggling now to keep his pace. As into the pits he comes, he's going to have to put on a new front wing on that Alpine. And meanwhile, his... I don't know! Mick Schumacher has spun at the Vail Chicane. What's Mick Schumacher done there? He was in a decent position for the state of that horse. What has happened to Mick Schumacher on lap 7? Into, into the chicane and the elite lights at the rear tyres. And that is job <laughs> done with the spin. As we now go through Magos and Beckers, we've gained a little bit of momentum and we've dropped it! We've spun! We've lost it at Magos and Beckers! We've somehow kept it going in a straight line and controlled the spin! What? How have we done that? We've absolutely dropped it and now look at this! The drag race is free wide! Down the hangar straight! And we keep the position as we're now trying to re-overtake, we swap. Give me Riken and the dummy and go down the inside of Vail. And it's job done. This is a replay of it, we just lose it right in the corner. But, please. <laughs> I don't know how I controlled that, but we did it. Here we go now on the Haas, we're on the outside, and we sail round the outside at Brooklyn's. And it's job done on Nikita Mazepin. As there goes, there's a little bit of bad ballad in the background as, me, as Mazepin hangs on. Daniel Ricciardo though was leading the race and now out of the race as that Mercedes engine in the back of the McLaren has gone bang Daniel Ricciardo has been robbed of a win at Silverstone he was dominating the race up front had a great quality there into a bit goes one of the Alfa Romeos look at the state of that front wing I think we had a bit of damage when we went for a little pirouette over the grass It's into the pits we go to make our one and only stop. Come out the pits, can we be out 
No, we can't. Job done, they have stayed ahead of us and we are going to try and go around the outside. We do the up and under, we've got a great exit out of the loop. And it's job done on the Alpine of Esteban Ocon. They're now battling with our teammate. We're all over the back. We try and go to the inside, couldn't at Cops Corner. But now we can try down the hangar straight. Can we get the job done? We're going to think about it up the inside, but we couldn't. But we are going to have a go though in to the Vale chicane. Job done on George Russell and now down the inside there goes George Russell coming under pressure by Esteban Ocon and now Esteban Ocon tries to get past George Russell round the outside couldn't quite do it into the village now can he stay ahead they're still side by side and on the exit George Russell keeps ahead just off the Alpine Now here we come on the horses, we had good pace on these medium tyres, now we are going to try and go around the outside of Mick Schumacher at Lovefield, but we couldn't. Now maybe do a Hamilton Verstappen, but without the contact this time, down the inside into Cop's corner, and we've done it. Mick Schumacher tries life by the looks of things on the exit, but... We've done a move at Cops, and there wasn't contact. But he's going to come back at us now, as we try and get Nikita Mazepin. It's about 50-50 the gap between each one of them, and we are going to go down the inside. Here we are on the back of Kimi Raikkonen, and Kimi's in it down the inside. Kimi's smart enough to cover that off. And now maybe round the outside of Luffield, no, but we're going to set ourselves up for a great launch of Luffield through Woodcut. And now, can we do a copy and paste of what we did to make Schumacher down the inside? Oh, I had a massive tunnel stopper there and have to back out. And now down the inside into Stowe, job done on Kimi Raikkonen. Now on to the last lap, Lewis Hamilton had a problem by the looks of him. Fauci Bottas leading the race. Can Lewis Hamilton, I hang on, to keep the Mercedes 1-2, he's looking very comfortable. At the start of the race, it's Ricardo's retirement. Can he, though, stay in second place? Hero service, then. But here comes Lando Norris. He wants that second place. He wants to undo some of the damage. Dubai left by McLaren. Down the inside into Brooklyn. He goes and now keeps it pinned right around the outside. And. At Brooklyn, three would go. Is Hamilton gonna come back? Get him? No. He didn't fancy a, a move that he did on Verstappen. But Lewis here, that battle in his low Charles McLaren makes Verstappen too close up, and it might be 
more than third place here for Lewis Hamilton, he might not even be on the podium. Here comes Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari, pulls to the outside, down the hangar straight, and goes right around the outside. I love that the style. Gets the job done, and now that, that takes him off the podium. And Max Verstappen's gonna make it even worse. Down the inside through Vale, from the outside of the final corner. And in one lap, Lewis Hamilton has gone from second to not even be on the podium to finish in P5. That is awful for the British driver at his home. Grand Prix, a race that he's won about a million times. But we're not done with Kimi Raikkonen. It's Raikkonen tries to come out through Magnus and Beckett's big go with Round Chapel and onto the hangar straight. Can Kimi get us? I hope not. As we're going to be drag racing, we force him right to the outside. He backs out into Stow. We go, he's got one more opportunity into. The veil chicane and he doesn't take it. And we are going to round the final two, two corners to finish in a well fought P12. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Dramatic end to that Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas wins it. Lewis Hamilton absolutely mugged on that final lap. So it's Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc to round at the podium. Two retirements of Daniel Ricciardo and Yuki Tsunoda. And in the, in the drivers, it's now level on points between Lewis Hamilton and and Lando Norris, Lewis has been there before. Couple. We're sitting down in 12th. But in the constructors, we're sitting in P7. McLaren, it's a bit nostalgic. Leading the constructors by 12 points. We're going to work on the arrow because there's still. This car still is basically awful. We're going to do one upgrade, one of the, um, one of the discount bonuses, upgrades, so we're going to do that one, that will come in after, um, Belgium hopefully, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next race in Hungary.